Comparing the Lumera to what we've been currently using, which is the Visu 160, uh, it's surprising just how much of a difference this makes. Uh, it's really like looking at high definition TV for the very first time. Uh, things just jump out at you. And so going back to our previous microscope, uh, the view is excellent, but you, you kind of find it lacking uh, in terms of that high definition, just like going back to a regular television set. What's really amazing about the view with Lumera is the details of the capsule. Uh, we've all been doing capsule orexis over and over and over again, but when you start seeing the details of the little folds as the capsule is, is torn, uh, the little perforations, uh, you're seeing it at a different level. And so I think anything uh, where you're looking at the capsule, polishing the posterior capsule, looking at the zonules, uh, making your capsule orexis, you're going to actually see uh, details that you just didn't see before. The other area where it makes a difference is actually inside the capsular bag. You, you can actually see different levels uh, within the bag itself. You can see the undersurface of the anterior capsule better. You can see debris on the posterior capsule as well as in the anterior vitreous space. So it's really quite impressive. Well, in terms of the image that you're seeing on the screen, I think what it does capture is the really enhanced red reflex. And that's because this is the first system where the illumination is actually at a zero degree coaxial direction with your oculars. So you get a very bright red reflex and it's almost like, I call it a jack-o-lantern view, because it's like you put a candle inside the eye and it's just glowing. So I think you can see that very well in the video. Of course, what you don't see on a video is the three-dimensional depth that you get with your stereo surgeon's view. And uh, that's where you can really see just different levels of anatomy inside the capsular bag like I've never seen before. In terms of where else this would be of clinical rather than purely aesthetic uh, benefit, I think really with a small pupil, this is where the added luminance of the red reflex pays off. Uh, cases like a Flomax patient or just simply a patient that doesn't dilate very well, of course the surface area of the pupil is reduced, you don't ordinarily get as good a red reflex. And to be able to now use the Lumera to uh, improve that, I think is going to be uh, a significant advantage. In terms of what the clinical advantages would be besides just having a, a nicer, prettier view, I think where it will probably make a difference is when you're looking at a small tear in the anterior capsule or the posterior capsule. You know, times when you're just not sure what's going on, is it a wrinkle, is it a tear, and to have that extra 10, 20 percent extra resolution I think can make a clinical difference for people.